So the first thing you want to decide is how much do you want to charge your victims? So then you've got a note, so if you wanted to have a label for uh, your ransomware, this particular one, you wanted to group them together, you can do that. So I could create one variant called supermarket, which I would deploy to supermarkets, and another called bank or NHS, you can do that if you want. I would yep. deploy to those. Absolutely. Okay, nice and organised. And then a capture to prove that I'm not a bot. Yep. To prove that I'm a human who wants to create this rather than just an automated bot that's going to create these things. Correct, oh, yeah. Nice. When you create it, it goes ahead and generates the payload in the background. You can see, you get a pop-up to say that your malware is created. So we'll copy that one across, and then when we execute it, they've gone. And there we go. They've or all been changed. They've, they've, the, the files are still there, but they're now just a mess. Yep. They've got a different file extension, and you've had a pop-up on your screen to say, your files have been encrypted. Do you want them back? And that's how easy it is to create ransomware. Correct. Yep. For free. Really, with no work at all, we've got past 27 out of 39 pieces of antivirus software, and that really was minimum effort, wasn't it? Yes, it was, yeah. Yeah.